Hi everyone, it's Review Realm Ranger here. Today we're going to be talking about the Edifier X3 Lite earbuds, the latest addition um, to the Edifier store. So let's get started. What I have here is the Edifier X3 Lite True Wireless earbuds. Um, they're the latest addition to the Edifier store. I'm then trying to fill, uh, fill in a gap um, for the audience with a smaller amount of budget for any higher-end technology. And they've been really good in creating a technology and creating a good sound quality. And I just want to enter the market um, for those type of um, people. And not everyone has uh, you know, pockets and deep enough to, um, to afford a, a much more expensive uh, headphones. And that sometimes even goes from 50 pounds onwards. So these ones, um, these ones are about 30 to 40 uh, pounds in UK, obviously. And uh, we're going to be looking at the overall quality and see if, if there's anything we can spot that may be pushing us away from um, getting that set. Um, so what we have here is the cream color um, Edifier X3 Lite uh, earbuds. They come with the Bluetooth uh, 5.3 at the moment and 24 hours battery. The battery, in um, the amount of charge uh, for the 24 hours is including the earbuds themselves and the um, rechargeable case. Um, they are graded uh, IP55 which would mean it's dust and waterproof, but that also means it's a sweat proof at the, at the same time. They have environmental noise cancellation, um, gaming mode for the reduce of latency and the voice assistance. Um, and I believe they also come with an app when you can um, you know, change the setting, settings in the equalizer and depth of the, of the sound and so on. And a couple of other um, things like um, um, touch sensitivity or maybe what happens when you tap once, twice or three times on the headphones. Um, so let's get them opened. Oops. Oh, okay, so let's start from here. Pretty loose packaging, pretty weird packaging as well, but as long as it works. So what we have here is the good quality rubberized uh, USB-C to USB-A uh, cable. We've got two sets of um, in rubbers, and um, so I believe these are always they always put uh, the smallest and the biggest and the medium size is already attached on the earbuds. Yeah, but that's good enough. Yeah, if you have you know everyone has a different ear, a different ear canal. So if you make you wanna, if you want to make sure that this is the best fit, you know that's always a good option to have. Um, something to keep the moisture out very well for the for the um, electronics, and then we have instruction manual and some of the terms and conditions. Now in here. We have the Edifier box, a very lightweight. Um, I've read somewhere that they may be um, um, four to five grams and that they do feel really lightweight. It doesn't feel like there's much battery inside, uh, but it's good quality. Yeah? It feels sturdy. It doesn't look cheap. Um, it's a USB-C charge um, with nice little Edifier logo at the top. Um, so the clamp, uh, there is a little magnet here. So I think it's gonna be holding pretty well. So whether it's in the pocket, whether it's in your backpack or your purse, I don't think you're gonna experience um, the, the case opening themselves and maybe the, the earbuds falling out. Yeah, and then, you know, at some point you may be disappointed because they haven't charged because they were loose and so on. But I don't think that's gonna be the case. Um, and it works really well. Now, the design is different to some other um, headphones that I had in the past. You have the pins for char charging right at the top. They stick out quite high. So maybe if you put your headphones, you, you know, you you want to be careful not to bend them or maybe when you take them out you may have an unfortunate accident when you take them out the one bends and so on but just because they are at the top you should you should be able to um, maintain and fix them um, quite easily if that's something that you will have to attempt now there's another um, um, then another positive side to that is that if you get the headphones and the the connectors are at the bottom. If you spill some water, you have some moisture, it will be really difficult to clean them. If that's sitting at the top, well, easily reachable, you can maybe, uh, you know, get a wet wipe or a dry wipe and then see if you can fix that connection issue, uh, maybe a little bit of a, of a rust of, of some sort and so on and see if you can get them working. So you won't have to go and get another pair, yeah, even if it's um, 30 pounds. So that's really good and very lightweight. Yeah? So I quite like that. Now, here are the Edifier headphones. So you can see they quite, comparing to the case, they're quite big. This part that's sticking out of the ear is quite you know, significant size. Um, but yeah, um, so we have another, and again, the Edifier logo at the top, really nice. 
um, I, it's a, you know a little bit of a gold shade on a cream color you have the tiny little hole for your LED and that may be quite difficult when you you know open your you open your uh, case and you want to see whether this is charged you know it's very little visible red light at the moment to tell you that they're probably charging or maybe they turn on for the first time and uh, yeah and probably maybe blue um, grew, I'm sorry um, green or blue to indicate that they are um, fully charged they snap in well um, in a case and then as soon as you put them in the light comes up so it tells you that there is a good um, connection and then once you put the headphones inside you know the box itself, you know, weighs a bit more, so it gives you that feel of, mm, you know, with the weight comes quality, not necessarily, but, you know, the, the technology is moving forward, the miniaturization is getting better, so we would expect um, the headphones or any hardware going forward to be uh, more lightweight, better, faster, and so on, yeah, but they sit well in the box, and they snap very well as well, um, so that's a good, yeah, that's a good thing. Now, so like I was saying, headphones, so there's a little logo here, that there are three parts you can tell when the plastic has been connected together and there isn't really anything that I would suggest that the quality of the of those earbuds are uh, bad. Yeah, it's it's very nicely connected together nothing sticking out to wedge into your ear. And uh, yeah, and uh, just one smooth um, um, single area. Now you have here the connection, they're quite deep, so I guess that's why the pins are sticking out so much. Um, I don't think if you if something would happen to these headphones, you will be easy to change and um, to clean the connectors. I don't think that's going to be the case, but they waterproof, so I guess there is some sort of a corrosion prevention um, on on them. And then we have the 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 what was it called um, the the speaker, the ear um, sound hole, and so on with the with the rubbers. They both mark left and right, so definitely not going to be a problem finding out which which uh, earbud is going in which. Um, ear. They look good quality um, overall. I'm pretty satisfied with the with the build and uh, I think um, they're definitely type of the headphones that you're going to be using once you purchase them. I don't think this is something that you're going to be throwing out after one to use this and say hey I'm not really satisfied uh, and so on. So um, let's try them on. Um, this is um, left, this is right. So when you put them in the ear, um, easy to put in. They slide in um, and purely I think just because of the, the shape that they have. Is very intuitive so when you put them in you can because of the, the rubbers you already feel like they are um, sitting in the ear very well and there's a little bit of a kind of noise cancellation applied already purely because the rubber bands are isolating the sound coming from inside out and so on and I can I can feel that and I can sense that now they do not feel like they expanding my ear canal and but that will be depending on your ear depending on the ear canal you have and depending on the which um, um, uh, rubbers you put in to um, to customize that experience, but they sit very well. So when you shake your head up and down, maybe you're jogging, maybe you're running, or you're talking to someone and rapidly moving your head, they don't feel like they're gonna pop at any time and you're gonna lose them and, and, and so on, maybe even get them dirty at some point. Um, because of the weight of those um, earbuds, they're very lightweight, you don't feel like the, the bit that is sticking out is pulling the, the earbud away, um, which is a really good thing. Again, it's for the, you know, how easily you're gonna feel that your ear is getting tired and whether you need to make a break from listening to your music or maybe other activities that you're using them for, like uh, phone calls and so on. So that's really good. And um, the color white makes them pop a little bit. So if you get brown or gray or black, I think that they're selling, then they may be a less visible um, if that's something that you are concerned about. But otherwise, um, they sit um, well, they, um, they, um, they feel like they sit in the entire um, ear um, um, very comfortably. Now, in terms of the sound, um, I have a little bit of a music running in the, in the, in, in, within that um, earbud at the moment. And what I can tell that the, uh, the high and lows are pretty clear. Uh, I have been testing and using um, some other Amazon non-branded headphones uh, for many months and giving them away as a, as a gift for my friends and, uh, and the family. And I can tell that the sound quality is already different. Yeah? Um, I'm, I'm sure that's the, the processing, maybe the chip that they're using. And there's years of experience when Edifier has, build, has been building the hardware for audio and customizing the audio experience themselves to make sure that it pops. Yeah? And even if it's a budget, um, 
headphones, they still want to deliver that kind of higher end sound quality to people with uh, um, less deep pockets where they can spend less money on the, on, the, on the headphones and so on. So yeah, they sound really good. Um, I still gonna be testing the um, app, see how the noise cancellation works and maybe equalizer just to see how much customization you can apply. But for the 30 quid, um, like I said, uh, for 30 quid within the UK, that is pretty decent product, sits well in the ear, sounds pretty awesome. The um, touch uh, capabilities are very responsive. And I think it's a, it's a, something worth buying, whether that's for a quick gift for a friend and family, or even if you want to try them before you go for something higher end and so on. Um, yeah, they, they're really nice. I would, would I recommend them? I don't know. I, I didn't use them for a long time. And um, this video has been spontaneous to, to make and so on. But yeah, um, let me know in the, in the comments if you like the video. Um, if you have any comments in terms of how the video is produced and what sort of content I'm delivering. Like I said, I'm still learning. I'm finding out finding out the, the path to um, um, you know create better videos over time. But that takes time, yeah? whether that's hardware or the content that I'm trying to um, share with you and so on. Yeah. So if you like this video, let me know um, in the comments. Likes and subscribe, that helps the... Um, channel to grow and the algorithm um, is pushing the video even further to more audience if the like button is being uh, pressed and so on. So try to do it nice and early if you, if you like the video. But yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. Um, take care, guys. Bye.